Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can animate an object to follow a certain path that you draw in DaVinci Resolve 16. And this is probably like take number eight or so, because every time I'm making this, something happens and it messes everything up. But that's just how life is, I guess. So anyways, let's get started right away. I'm going to use this Sonic video right here with the green screen that I got from somewhere on YouTube. I'm going to link the video for that in the description. And for that, we're going to create a new fusion clip. If you're doing it just for motion graphics, you don't have to do this step. You can go right into fusion, create a new composition, and then just draw and do everything right there. But you can follow this same um, same technique, I guess you could say. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do in this case is to do use a chroma key here to get rid of that green screen. We're gonna go here to the key type, and this is if you're working with the green screen footage or video or image, and we're gonna get rid of everything else but green and increase the soft range. So now we have gotten rid, sort of, of our green stuff. And since this is sort of like, it doesn't have to be perfect, we won't worry too much about it. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And there. And then we can draw our path. We don't have to connect this polygon to anything. So we're gonna use this polygon node here and we're gonna draw our path. And let's just completely draw it right there. It will be pretty raw. But don't worry too much about it. Um, I just got a really heavy attack or bad attack of hiccups right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so now that we have our path, we have to make sure it's published. It is. And what we have to do is go here to the animation, to the transform node, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna click here on animate. And, we're gonna, and that will unlock the modifier tab right here. And before we get rid of this keyframe, because one of the issues that I encountered was that I would get rid of this keyframe and then try to connect it and it would not work. So we're gonna leave that there and we're gonna connect these to our polygon. And now we cannot move this. But if we get rid of this, we should be able to move this. So as I said, every time I do it, a problem arises. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna remove this polygon polyline and we're gonna connect it again and see if now it's following it. Nope, it's not following. Maybe what we have to do is go back to our tools and get rid of these. We're gonna click path this time and then right click here and then connect it. Connect it to the polyline and then get rid of this keyframe. And then we're able finally one time, sometimes when I use the path it works sometimes when I put animate it works I don't know it's weird it does whatever it wants anyways so if one doesn't work try the other one so once you have that you're gonna create the keyframe for the beginning when the image appears so we're gonna start here and it's gonna go all the way back so we're gonna see where the image disappears right here and we're gonna change our displacement to be all the way there and that is pretty much it but that does not look that realistic i would say right so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna try to make our sonic's feet to be on top of this line so for that we're gonna press tab a couple of times and so we can select the pivot point so then we can move that around and it fall, it's sort of like fall, has the feet right on top of our path. And this is sort of like optional, I guess, just um, more specific to this case. So the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go here to the chroma key here and add another transform node before this one that's connected to the polygon because otherwise it will make everything else smaller too, including the path. So now that we're here in the transform node, we're gonna click tab three times again so we can select the pivot point and we're gonna put it right on the of its of Sonic's feet. 
So it's sort of like a, following that same path. It's following on top of that path because we don't want it to we don't want it to become smaller towards that polygon that pivot point but we want it to become smaller towards its feet um so on this second transform node we're gonna go here to where the animation begins and we're gonna create a size keyframe and then go all the way to where it ends and we're gonna make it really small so now as the further it goes the smaller it would become and then one other thing that we need to do is we can flip this you can animate the flip thing to make it even more accurate but just for this tutorial sake we don't have to worry too much about it so anyways um yeah so once you have that that's pretty much it you can also add a motion blur for these so it looks a little bit more like Sonic because when Sonic runs, he runs, right? Um, yeah, so now that we have these, and the only thing that's left to do is we're gonna, we don't want it to show up in these black parts right here that's outside our screen because this is actually a 1920 by 1080 frame and it's not really a 1080 by 1920. If it was, then there wouldn't be any problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the merge and we're going to create a mask and we're going to just put it up there like that. So now when our Sonic goes into the screen, it will just come from the side and it will just goes out. It will disappear again. And as Sonic becomes goes farther away, he will become smaller too thus selling that effect even more and the same thing if you reverse it and make it come towards our camera right here and yeah so that's pretty much it how you can animate an object or make an object follow a path in davinci resolve 16 you don't have to do all these chroma here that's only if you have a green screen but let's just recap the main thing that you need is you need a polygon so that you can draw the path then you can make sure that it's published and then you want our ob your object to have a transform node a main transform node that is following the path and for that you're going to right click here in center and you're either going to click on animate which will show up here or you're going to click on path sometimes if you click on animate it will work sometimes it won't and the same thing for path it just does whatever it wants and then once you do that it will unlock the modifier tab and this displacement it's gonna have a keyframe there sometimes you, if you get rid of that keyframe before you animate it before you connect it to the polygon it will not work sometimes if you do it will work as I said it does whatever it wants sometimes um, the AI is too smart already I guess um, okay so then for that to connect it you're gonna go right click here and the option to connect to will show up here and the, it will show up the polygon one and the polyline. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you learned something new today or something that you might find useful in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This was take probably number eight or 10. I'm glad this time it worked and I'm able to actually get it done. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more, you can subscribe if you want to be notified for all the for more videos and all that stuff. And also don't forget to check out our other videos. There's going to be links or whatever in the description or around these, this screen somewhere. So anyway, I hope to see you in the next episode here in Swabi.